what's happening, everybody? Happy Sunday evening to you all. And we have a good friend of uh, the Gasocast and Heather and myself, Ryan Permison from Nerd Culture. What's happening, Ryan? Not much, man. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Hey, we're glad to have you, man. Um, I noticed, is your mic turned down a little bit? It sounds like your mic mm. is turned down a little no. bit. No? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, you sound better now. Okay, perfect. You sound okay. a lot better now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So welcome everybody. It's uh, it's been a long weekend for Heather and I, uh, doing a lot of editing, a lot of channel stuff. It's been quite the awesome weekend. Uh, other than today, the Venom drop or whatever the hell you want to call it at Funko HQ, which was very interesting. Totally did not expect all of that, but we were able to quickly throw together a video for your viewing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, and tonight, I wanted to have a discussion about, well, partially, about, Mar uh, I'm sorry, Funko subscription boxes, because some people love them, some people hate them, and some people just scratch their heads about them. So we'll discuss those a little bit, because Heather and I know, uh, you know, a bit about them since we've subscribed to many of them. Um, but I wanted to first talk to Ryan, because recently, Ryan, you had me on Nerd Culture for an interview, and it was a lot of fun. Yes, yes, it was. You were part of, and I quote, a very great guest, and it was it was a blast, man. It's always it's always good, you know, geeking out with you, nerding out, however what the kids call it these days. Yeah, it's a blast. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun, and I really appreciate you you asking mm -hmm. me to come on. That was uh, that was a lot of fun, and Heather is going to be on there too at some point. I am. Is it June twenty fourth, July twenty fourth? I don't know. It's on my I think calendar. it's one of it's one of those two. I just don't have my date book in front of me. Otherwise, I'd be more than happy to tell you, Heather. It's one of the J months. I feel like yeah, it's because July. with the letter J. <laughs> I, I feel like it was July. That's kind of where my head's at with that. I think it is. I think it is. I have to double check my date book and get back to you, Heather. <laughs> so, uh, long story short, uh, Ryan and I and Heather met at uh, a Mid Atlantic Collector Corps meet, which is a local group here in Maryland, in fact, in the Mid-Atlantic region. Um, he was sitting, I've told this story a couple times, but he was kind of sitting across from where we were doing like a mm -hmm. live podcast sort of a thing, like like this, mm -hmm. but somewhere else. And yeah. uh, we kept seeing him in the distance. He had some action figures set up and we invited him over. We started chatting and we became friends and we've been friends ever since. It's been a lot of fun. Absolutely, 100%, man. Whether you collect Funkos, action figures, movie posters, movie me me memorabilia, I should say, it doesn't matter. We're all friends here. That's right. And Ryan, you're a big fan of Indiana Jones. In fact, I've seen some photos of you dressed as Indiana Jones. We've seen him in his Indiana Jones. We did. Jones. That's right. We did. We saw him in, in oh, person. Bet. That's right. So you're you're a cosplayer to some degree. Yeah, yeah. I've cosplayed as Indiana Jones. I, I think I've done uh, Clark Kent from the hit TV series known as Smallville, the Tom Welling version, and I'm hoping to do that again, as well as a few other characters when Earth reopens and we're all vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I can't wait till we can go. Like, In fact, so a subject I kind of wanted to discuss, by the way, Slushland mm -hmm. saying he would like to have me on his channel sometime. I will totally be there. You just tell me when. Um, nice. Uh, so, uh, I noticed this weekend that a lot of people were going to cons. I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of photos of people at cons, um, and it made me one very hopeful that in the future I will be able to attend a con again, but additionally, and nothing against the people who, that were there. Additionally, it made me feel very concerned for them all being at this con and being very close to each other and, and like kind of hanging out. Although I really want to do that, it freaks me out big time. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for cons just yet, even if they start opening them tomorrow. What do you think, Heather? Nope. Yeah, I'm not ready. Ryan, you're probably not ready either, are you? No, I'm going to wait a little while until I'm, you know, first of all, I want to get vaccinated. That would be nice. Then I can actually be back to being human again, which I know is the title of a TV series, but we'll let that one go. And <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not quite ready yet. I know there's one coming up in August that I want to go to that's here in town in Hunt Valley, Maryland, the Mid-Atlantic Nostalgia Convention, August Ooh. 19th through the 21st. Cool. Hoping to do that, but we'll wait and see. It's it's too soon to tell. That's awesome. I didn't even realize that was going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said that they are going to be in person and everyone can be there and they're hoping that there may or may not be a mask mandate. So we want to worry about hmm, masks like that, you know, but if we do have to wear masks, hey, I'm all for it because it's better to be safe rather than sorry, especially with what's going on in the world today. Totally agree with that. One hundred and ten percent. Yeah. So in any event, uh, this is uh, th this is something that I'm still a little concerned about. But one of these days, hopefully 
by the end of the year or next year, we can finally get back to conventions and feel fine about it once again. Because yes. there's a toy show that happens here in Maryland on a couple, you know, a couple uh, different times during the year, typically around mm-hmm. Christmas and over the summer. I love going to this thing, and I can't go because it's shut down due to COVID testing. They're doing it's a testing site, so that's not even mm-hmm. open. So hopefully in December it opens back up and we can attend once again and have a blasty blast. Yeah, we found some cool stuff at that uh, toy show. We sure did. A lot of really cool stuff for very good prices. We found a lot of like classic Funko Pop stuff too. Mm-hmm. And wacky wobblers, old wacky wobblers, which is really cool. Lots of wobblers. Mm, interesting. So Ryan, give us a little, just a, um, a, I don't know, description of your channel, what you guys do and all that kind of stuff. And then we're going to jump right into subscription boxes, Funko sh- subscription boxes. Yes, sir. Sounds like a plan. Uh, so I'm a part of Nerd Culture. We're a YouTube channel where we talk about all things nerdy, whether it's movies, TV series, anime, comic books. Uh, we do weekly episodes of called Battle of the Nerds, which where we put two competitors in the ring and they duke it out in a random trivia category. So it could be questions about, uh, what is it called? My Hero Academia. It could be questions about your favorite TV series like The Office or community whatever and it's a whole bunch of craziness and it's a lot of fun me particularly i host a weekly show that's live every saturday at 12 p.m est plug 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 it's called and i quote i bring in a special guest from any and all corners of the nerd universe and we find out a little bit more about them and we find out what projects they have coming down the line and we just have we just have a conversation we just chillax and we have a lot of fun that's what we like to do in this world because life's too short to be upset or mad we just want to be happy because we're all family here so what the hey absolutely yeah no your channel's great and all the people that are involved in it are great i love watching your show um the end i quote show mm-hmm. excuse me i watch it awful lot i always see you posting it nice. and i'll watch all the way through i like how you have your interactions with some folks um it's it's a really it's a really great show i think you do a really good job at it ryan um, Thanks. And, and I'm not appreciate. Just, it. We're over we're over 400 plus subscribers now. We're climbing the mountain. That's great. And we're going to build your subscribership tonight because mm. what I want you to do is grab a video. I want you to send Heather the URL to that video. We're going to mm-hmm. share that out to all the people that are here tonight, and we're going to give away a mystery prize to one of those people who leave a comment on your video, and they must comment and subscribe to your channel. That's the only way that they can be entered to win. So please, if you could. Find us a URL, if you can, uh, to one of your videos and send it to Heather and I uh, in one way or or another. And and we're going to do that. Yeah, the question is, which video do I pick? We have a million of these things, brother. How about the video (laughs) with me and you? All right. It was more recent. I don't have to go digging into the treasure trove. So, yeah, why the hey not? Do that. And then um, you're going to send Heather a hashtag that you want her to use because that's how Mm -hmm. we're going to track the winner. Hmm. Excellent. And if Sounds you, like a plan. If you guys are here and you're hanging out and you're having a good time and you want to talk about subscription boxes and you have a friend out there that might want to watch this as well, go and grab your friends right now. Have them come here and hang out with us to, for a chance to win that. Also, during this live, we will be giving away this Mecha Godzilla, the glow in the dark one, the uh, the one from Funko Shop. We're going to be giving this away. Now, this was based on an Instagram giveaway that we had done. We've been getting a lot of comments about it of when this is actually going to go down. Well, tonight's the night. Um, so thank you for those who have subscribed, who've shared it, who followed us on Instagram. Um, you guys are awesome. Hopefully we uh, we can pick one of you awesome people out there today to win a Mecha Godzilla. Heather, let's dive right into subscription boxes. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because we have recently received the Walking Dead mystery box, a.k.a. the supply drop. Um, And typically, the videos come out really fast. However, Venomized or Venom from today kind of took over its spot. So we're going to move that to later this week. Yeah, um, we were supposed to post the supply drop today. Yeah, because I wanted the supply drop video to go with this live, but unfortunately that's not happening. Um, But... As you guys know from the past, I'm not going to talk about the most recent box, but in the past, Heather, what are our thoughts about the supply drop box? (laughs) Exactly. The supply (laughs) drop box is absolute 100% garbage typically, and the Funko Pops that they've been stacking inside of them are just okay. Um, the greatest one, I think, is the Bloody Negan that we... Was it Bloody Negan or Black and White Negan? I can't remember. Black and White Bloody. Black and White Bloody Negan was a great one. Um, really dug that one. But some of the ones they've been packing in the boxes are absolute garbage. Um, but aside from the Walking Dead subscription box, what are other ones? Well, 
Marvel Collector Core is yet another one that I've been subscribing to since day one. And that's a box that I really happen to enjoy. There have also been Star Wars ones. There have been Disney ones. But I don't see anything about the Disney one lately. Have you? Like, had it, did it die? I It may have. I don't know. It's weird because for a while, subscription boxes were huge. And it seemed like everybody who could make a subscription box would make a subscription box. And some were good, some were bad, and some were absolutely devastating like the Walking Dead Supply Drop Box. The Walking Dead Supply Drop Box, in my opinion, is the, the, the most trash box out of all of them. And the reason why is they label it with something that Heather and I love, Walking Dead, and they shove in a bunch of Walking Dead trash, literally Walking Dead dollar store trash. Um, this new box is one that... It just shocked me on different levels of how low this box could really go. But on the opposite side, you have boxes like we'll show this week, the Marvel Collector Core box. We had a Deadpool box that just came out and it had excellent stuff inside. And we're not going to get into all of that. We're not going to discuss what's in it. But what an excellent box. I mean, it, Marvel Collector Core just knows what they're doing. They pack in the T-shirts, they pack in the uh, the Funko Pops, and that's like my favorite part, the T-shirts that come with the boxes. I really love the T-shirts. Ryan, do you happen to subscribe to any of those types of boxes? I don't, bless you, I don't Thank think you. that you do. Unfortunately, no. This is something I haven't dove into, but I know a few of my friends have. Other people have done, what is it called, subscription boxes for other types of items that come in those said boxes. I haven't jumped on the bandwagon yet but i will say it feels like just like every studio is putting out their own streaming service every company's putting out a subscription box so it's like yeah there's too many in the pile here so which one do you go with or do you just push them all aside and say you know what if i want something specific i'll just go to a website and buy it myself because quite frankly this whole subscription box thing is a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs <laughs> well like I said, some subscription bo boxes are worse than others. And, and from what I remember, the Disney ones weren't that bad, but they couldn't sell them, it didn't seem like. Yeah, it, it was very weird. So apparently the Disney Treasures box, which was the Funko uh, Disney box, it ended in April 2018. However, Hot Topic picked them up. Ooh. And that ended in October of 2019. So they've been off that long. Yeah. So didn't they show up on Amazon for a while? Don't ask me. I, I don't swear know. they did, but maybe <laughs> I'm wrong about that. I don't I don't necessarily remember. Um, Ryan, did you happen to find a video? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, right. Oh, I have said, it through our good friends at Messenger. Oh, excellent. So you have that? Yeah. Or did he give you the hashtag? No, he didn't. Oh shit. Okay, send yeah. her a hashtag. <laughs> I'm forgetting everything. I'm sorry. My bad. The item that we're going to be giving away is this Dark Side. This is a, a very recent mm. Funko Shop drop. So this is Dark Side with the fire behind him. I'm sure all of you know what this guy is. By the way, I'm sorry that the lights are a little low. I decided to do something different because Heather does not like light shining directly in her eyes. So I was trying to hook her up tonight. So this right here could be yours. So we're going to give you that URL here in a minute. And then we're going to also going to give you the hashtag that you must use on that video. Make sure that you also subscribe to that video. And that way uh, we can select our winner. And when we select our winner, I want to let you know in advance. We'll tell you again later. Contact us on Instagram at Gasselcast. That's where you're going to want to send us your name and your, um, your address. That way we can send it out to you. If you live outside of the United States, I want to warn you now, we will cover the first $5 of shipping. The rest of the shipping is on you. So no complaining later. And if you don't want it after that, then we'll select another winner from henceforth. By the way, I want to give you guys a, a heads up as we typically do. Remember, we have a Patreon. If you head over to patreon.com slash gascast, you can find out all the ways that you can support this channel. You can help us grow bigger and better than ever. So far, I believe we're up to 55 patrons, which is amazing wow. because when we originally started this, we didn't think we'd reach five. And here we are at 55. I think it's 55. But in any event, what a what a, a, a great thing to have so many people on our side and helping us out and, and wanting to see this channel get bigger and bigger because that's all we want. We want to grow this channel. We want people to um, more people to watch and, and to enjoy it and to make more people laugh because that's what we're about. Can I just say that we did something really cool yesterday? Absolutely. I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I want to get back into subscription boxes a little bit and kind of, you know, dive into it. But yeah, I want you to talk about that. Go ahead. Okay. So hashtag has been sent Heather. Thank you. Excellent. You're welcome. 
Just wanted to give you a quick update. Anyway, back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> <laughs> so today, if you subscribe to our channel, you may have seen that we posted a skit, which we recorded yesterday. Um, by the way, it took forever to clean up after that skit. I do not recommend doing what we did. Uh, however, Chris decided to post the skit early on Patreon to all of our patrons. Now, this is not something that's promised in our Patreon subscription, but we like to dazzle you guys with some cool stuff, unexpected stuff along the way. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. Uh, you got to see it a day before everybody else. So that was cool. That's right. Yeah. We had a blast making that little skit that we were going back to our roots. If you guys haven't been around for a long time, don't fret. We used to do skits on a regular basis. We used to have a blast at doing it. And this week I just had this brilliant, you can call it brilliant or you can call it stupid idea that I wanted to create. And I wanted to, to create something different than what we've been creating recently. Do something fun, funny, and I don't know, for us to be in a different setting than we normally would be. Um, and so Heather and I, uh, we kind of put our heads together with the idea that I came up with, and we came up with lines, and boom, there you have it. Uh, one and a half, two minute video, I think it is, and it was a blast. So we're going to do more of that hopefully very soon. I'm sure um, there's a lot of folks out there who remember I see somebody, the Toucan Sam skit. That's an old one. That was a lot of fun also. Um, but I want to do more skit stuff. I really enjoy doing it. It's it's fun because the planning and the process that goes into it. Uh, another thing that was very similar to that was our um, Cribs episode. Yes. Oh, my God. Our Ooh, Cribs. Yeah. I, I showed a friend our Cribs episode the other day um, that uh, a guy from work. And I just happened to show him what it, what, we're, what we did. And he saw it and he, he was like, oh, my God, dude. He goes, you put a lot of work into that. That looks really good. He goes, it looks like. It looks like an actual Cribs episode. And that's like the yeah. best, that's like the best thing I could hear somebody say is that what I'm trying to copy, like copied well, you know what I mean? Yeah. We just had less cars. <laughs> less cars. <laughs> that is true. That is true. But that was a good video though. But the picture you posted earlier this week, Chris and Heather was Heather. I think you were wearing the Mandalorian helmet and it was like hashtag Heather Lorian. Yes. Yes. Dude. I want that helmet so bad, but at the same time, it's like, Heather, you look pretty darn good wearing that helmet. My goodness gracious, what is going on? <laughs> so, yeah, so hashtag Heather for you, hashtag this is the way. So Heather Lorian, if you make that a mini show or a mini skit, that would be kind of fun. The old Heather Lorian. Heather yeah. Lorian. That uh, is a good one, I must admit. It is, absolutely. Um, Heather. Yes. Can we release the URL? And then I want to have... Um, I want to have Ryan give us the hashtag, and then we're going to type that hashtag. But hold on, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and copy it in the chat first, and then Ryan, I want you to tell us what the hashtag is when I tell you to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then why did he send me the hashtag? No, it's okay. Why'd no, you no, you're, I, no, because I want you to copy and paste the hashtag in there also. You're very. Dependent. But I want him. I want him to say it's it. pasted. Uh, go ahead, Ryan. <laughs> what is it? Uh, the hashtag I decided to go with is quite simple, ladies and gentlemen. It's hashtag it's nerd culture right there. Boom. Excellent. It's nerd culture. Excellent. Thank you. So All right. Head over to the URL I just posted in the chat. Head mm -hmm. over and use hashtag it's nerd hashtag it's nerd culture. Yes. And you will have a chance to win this dark side. And I always want to call him Dark Seed because of dark how so do I. spelled. I'm glad so it's not me. Decide, 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 whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really wanted to. I, I've been wanting to say Dark Seed also. It's weird. But yeah. So Dark Side. Dark Side. This is a great Funko Pop. One of my favorites that have been dropped recently on Funko Shop, believe it or not. And he's not even a Marvel character, but I love this thing. And I see people are actually, viewers are going down because I guess they're going over right now to type in that hashtag. So that's great. Um, or they just hate us. Or they just hate us. Sla uh, Slushland says, I think I copied Gasocast because I went and got a blonde wife with tats. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Excellent. I was not blonde when Chris and I got together. Good, hmm, really? Nope. I was not aware of this, as Wayne Campbell would say. I was not aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Legend Empire says, consume the dark seed. Oh, my God. The dark seed. Mm, yeah. dark There's seed. a movie trailer voiceover for that right there. Dark seed. <laughs> yeah. If you ever want me to do voiceover for you there, Gassel Cast, hint, hint, plug, plug, let me know, and I'll do it. Oh, we got our guy. Thank God. 
Yeah, more than happy to do some voiceover work, guys. I'm here for you because we're all family. That's we are all family, Ryan. We yeah. are family, and and this we is great. Family. It's great that we have this way to connect because if if the COVID thing happened, like say twenty years ago, we wouldn't mm. even have this, right? So yeah. I mean, if it's going to happen, I'm glad it happens during a time where we can actually connect like this. Yeah, and a lot of my friends have found romance in the midst of this pandemic. So go figure. Oh my God. Yeah, people are dating. People are getting engaged. People are getting hitched. It's 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 everywhere. It must be, someone must have put something in the water that day. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me too. It's everywhere, honestly. Somebody's I'm seeing put it everywhere. Water. Um, okay, so back to subscription boxes for a moment, Ryan. Mm -hmm. This is my question. This is what I kind of wanted to go around and ask. Yeah, sure. What for you? What would it take for you to buy into a subscription box? Now, hold on. Let me now before you answer. Mm -hmm. What would it have to be? What, 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 like, say they release an Indiana Jones subscription box and it comes with a Funko Pop and a t shirt and this and that and the other thing. What would it take for you? What would you want to see in a subscription box? What would make you make that monthly payment? Oh, man, that's a $2 million question, Regis. I'm sorry, $1 million question. I know we're 20 years young. Um, <laughs> gosh almighty. I would say it would have to be a certain item. Uh, it could be something that's a little bit harder to find than some of the other ones are. I know that's going to up the price a little bit with in regard to a subscription box. But if that's the case, like Funko Pops, NECA, well, maybe not so much NECA figures, but like action figures, NECA figures that are a little bit harder to find out there in the open market, that would be a great incentive for me to buy it. And plus, if the price point is good enough, you know, because some of us are broke college kids. So if it's <laughs> at a good price range, then yes, I will be inclined to go all Futurama on this thing and say, shut up and take my money. Just depends on certain the rarity of the items. Maybe not all of them, but one or two are thrown in there for in the mix for good measure. I would say yes. And Indiana Jones, as far as the Funko Pop part of it is concerned, I got the 10 inch Indiana Jones Adventure Funko Pop over here on my bookshelf. So Ooh. thank you guys at sevenbooksofpop.com. I bought that last year. Ah, okay. All right. So that's what it takes for Ryan. Heather, how about you? What would you want to see in a subscription box? And and also, what would what would it be? What's the word I'm looking for? What, what's the X factor? No, not what's the X factor. Sorry, what, that's a pro wrestling reference. Because <laughs> you already have Walking Dead. That's what I mean. Like, um, I am very... What pop culture thing would I I am think? very <laughs> easy to please when it comes to subscription boxes, as you guys have seen. When it comes to subscription boxes. I still, for whatever reason... <laughs> You guys are being dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, listen, I dragged Ryan in. It wasn't him. It was me. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> For some reason, I still subscribe to that stupid thing. I pay like 50 or $60 for a box that I don't even like. I know. So yeah, it doesn't take much for me to subscribe to something stupid. I mean, give me an ugly looking hat. And you'll buy three more of it. Yeah, and I'll buy three more on Macari. No, um, I would. That like was a to real story, by the way. Heather got a winter hat in one of her Walking Dead boxes. I talked so much shit about this thing. I thought it was so <laughs> ugly. I put it on. It looked so stupid. I started wearing it. That's my favorite hat in the world. <laughs> Hmm. I bought two Fair more enough. on Macari. She had to go buy two more. She goes, I need more colors. I go, what do you mean you need more colors? I go, this thing's a piece of trash. What are, you, are you kidding me? It's actually really oh, warm and very it. well done. I, I love that stupid thing. It was like $10 on Macari. By I, the way, I Ryan, uh, nerd culture is here and they're saying, what's up? And they say, uh, "Keep uh, Ryan, you're rocking it. Keep it up. That's what they're saying. Thank you. I'm assuming it's either who's running tonight. It's either Ruth or it's Caroline who's running that mm. nerd culture account. So hi, Caroline. We love you. You're awesome. Hi, Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Or Ruth. Or Ruth. Or, it, it's either one. I think it's Caroline, though, because she's our uh, El Capitan. So, ah. You know. okay. Heather? She's got yeah. the captain's hat on. Mm -hmm, she does. She just doesn't want to admit it, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, subscription boxes. What would I yes. like to see? So, I would really like to see a horror subscription box. However,. I bought them before. I bought the BAM box. And mm -hmm. they're okay. They're not bad, but it's items that I don't necessarily collect. Like there were pins, which are fun at times, but they're not really my thing. Uh, signed posters and stuff, which are very cool. But again, not really my thing right now. I have a lot of posters, a lot of signed posters. I don't need any more of that. Um, just random little items in there. And 
I would really like to see a Funko subscription box that is horror. Mm. And I would like to see apparel items, too. I'm so glad you could stay away for this. I Yeah, I've had, I've had a long weekend. <laughs> so you want, you want a horror Funko box? I would like to see, like, the Marvel Collector Core box, but mm-hmm. with horror. Okay. Because I like the little mm. items they throw in there. Like, sometimes you'll get a pen, sometimes you'll get, like, a t-shirt, or um, sometimes you'll get, like, multiple pops. Uh, a recent one, very recent one, you got two pops and a t-shirt, which right. was really cool. Like, I would love that. Right. But unfortunately, I get dumb shit like winter hats and flip-flops that are like three sizes too big and give you blisters in my Walking Dead supply drop box. Or Mm, like a a bloody Eugene pop that's common, but like it's bloody because it's in the box that's exclusive. I don't know. I hated that pop. so. So you want a horror subscription box. But a good one. A good one. Right. Okay. If, so, it's, if it's a thriller type horror slash thriller box, it should, when you open the box, it should be Brad Pitt saying what's in the box. Because if you open the box and you're Brad <laughs> yeah. Pitt saying it, it makes a whole lot of sense. Plus seven is classified as a thriller slash, you know, it could sort of kind of go in the horror genre, respectively. Sure. So yeah, I just saw that out of the clue. And speaking of horror, and like you guys said, I know you guys are taking time off from cons like I am too. I'm being very cautious and stuff like that. But did I, I did hear that Monster Mania is going to be in Hunt Valley September 24th of the 26th. Really? Yeah, I'm shocked. Dates are confirmed that. for Monster Mania. Okay. Wow, that's incredible. I I thought that mm. would be canceled. I guess not. Um, mm. Okay. Well, closer good, to good the to date, depending on how things go, maybe. Yeah. But play it by ear. Yeah, we'll yeah. play it by ear. Hopefully, I mean that would be cool. I would really like to see things starting well, to get back know, to normal. Hold on, we're going to get back on this topic because there's something I want to talk about that's interesting. But if we're going to talk about a subscription box that I would love, I mm-hmm. would suggest. Oh, that I I didn't ask. Okay. Painful, but okay. No, nobody asked you, Chris. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. Um, I would really <laughs> like a Mandalorian box that is Mandalorian specific that we get like every three months because I think they could easily release a new character in Funko Pop form every three months that only comes inside the box along with like little trinkets that we might dig. Um, I just, I think that having a star Wars box is cool. Although I don't really care for all the, you know, other star Wars stuff. I would just like to specifically hone in on the Mandalorian. Imagine they would have a Mandalorian box and then they would have a villains box maybe. And then a baby Yoda box. And then like, Oh, uh, a visit to Tatooine Boba Fett is back box, you know, that kind of thing. And I think they could go on forever with that just based on the episodes that they've already um, released. So that's sold, what I would like to say. Sold. I would do that. And plus I like your shirt, Chris. So yes, this is the way, and that does sound like a great way to live. So I'm down for it. Yes. Yes. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I think it would be a great box. And I think a lot of people would literally eat that thing up big time. Sign me up. See, that's right. Me too. Um, okay. So to, <laughs> we're going to fast forward or, or rewind or whatever. No, back let's to, not really quick. You sure. have a number one fan. I know. I Aww. noticed that. I know. I'm shocked there. that someone likes you more than they like me. Well, I don't know. I'm if just kidding. I don't know I'm if that's. I don't know People if people tell like... me they just tune in to see the awesomeness that is Heather, not so much Chris. But... Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, so I mean, I don't. I believe they still like you more, but they just feel bad for me. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It is. I don't know. Um, it might be two separate people. Um, but what Maybe. I wanted, what I wanted to talk about was the conventions. Okay. So Monster oh, Mania yeah. is very well known for being oh, yes. a popular convention due to the amount of uh, actors and actresses that mm-hmm. come there for the con. Well, my question is. Is this stopping any of the actors and actresses from coming? Because there's a lot of things that happen at these cons. You stand in front of them at a table and they they sign stuff for you. Additionally, you get photos with them, which are up close and personal. I'm surprised that a lot of these actors and actresses actually want to do this. Are you are either one of you kind of like shocked over that? I wouldn't do it. Right? <laughs> like you're around a lot of people. And if I want say, say I'm going there and I'm meeting um, Freddy Krueger. Who's the actor? Uh, Robert England. Oh, uh, Robert, Robert England. England. Robert so if England. I'm going there to meet up Robert England, and it's going to be, you know, a, a meetup where he's wearing a mask the whole time, and we're getting photos and masks, I don't think I give. I don't think I want that, right? It's like, not the same thing. It's no, different. it's not at all. It's like, different. can you imagine getting our photo with the Candyman, and we're all wearing masks? Or Matthew Lillard, for that matter. Or Matthew, yes, yeah. the hot 
Matthew Lillard, as Heather likes to say. <laughs> when did I call him hot? You said he was hot when we were there. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't because I bumped I into you guys when you were there. I just I couldn't you know hang out with because we we're all in our separate areas and doing our separate things. So, but I did catch up with you like towards the lobby area, and I was like, "Did you guys have fun so far?" Like, yeah, we met so and so and so and so. I'm like, "Oh, great, you met more people than me. That makes me jealous." But, you <laughs> so, know, hey, you, some of us have bigger bank accounts than the next person. That's okay. When you saw us, you <laughs> didn't notice Heather's big lady boner as she was coming away from Matthew Lillard. You didn't oh notice that? Oh my gosh, I may have noticed that. <laughs> it took up an entire hallway. Um. Yeah, but I was turned on by the Grady twins. Mm-hmm. Oh, the Grady twins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, the Grady twins. They're like else. 70 years old. Um, yeah, so it makes me wonder, are these actors and actresses like concerned about it? Because I know I sure as hell would be. And we're noticing a lot more of people signing stuff from afar and shipping it. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many of these actors and actresses That's are actually going to show up, but I, I guess we'll I guess we'll find out. Again, I'm not really ready for the whole um, convention experience, but man, I miss it like big time. Ugh, don't we all? I mean, I'm just waiting to get vaccinated first, then I can actually be my human self and be with the people that I care about. That's right. Uh, you know. That's right. And and uh, yeah, conventions are, are, are such such a big deal for me during the year, and not having them has just been so weird. I I thought about it the other day. 2020 flashed by so quickly. And when I hear 2019, I feel more close to 2019 than 2020 because 2020 was more of a blur for me. Like I actually have memories from 2019 from 2020. I have no memories because I just sat at home in front of a computer most of the time. Mm. So sad. Hopefully I know we can get sad. back to normal at some point or another folks. Cause we, we would much rather have this sooner rather than later. So please do your part, get vaccinated. Let's be us again. Please. Let's be us. Um, Heather, for the love of Pete, do we want to select a winner for the Godzilla? Because I know there are some folks here who are wanting to win this Godzilla. We're going to have to pull a random comment from the Godzilla post. I would love to. However, we have another giveaway going on. If you just joined, we are giving away this dark side Funko pop. All you have to do is head over to Ryan, our guests, YouTube channel subscribe to them they're called nerd culture they are amazing you definitely don't want to miss their content i am pasting a link to a video in the chat and i want you to go over there and i want you to use hashtag on that video okay i want you to comment hashtag it's nerd culture oh thank you so much christina Payne. she already threw it together look She's awesome. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Christina Payne. That's awesome. Thank you so much. If you do have an extra Dar- Dasi, Dasa, whatever his name is, or Mecha Godzilla laying around, I mean, just I thought my presence would be enough to warrant me getting some of those Funko Pops, Chris and Heather. But <laughs> if you want to give them away to somebody else, hey, it's nothing personal. It's just business. You can throw that one on me. It's fine. <laughs> oh, Ryan wins the dark side. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. You got millions of people out there that deserve those things more so than me. I'm just a broke college kid from the other side of town. It's fine. Ryan, oh. listen. All you have to do is head over to this video by Nerd Culture <laughs> and comment <laughs> hashtag it's Nerd Culture. Right. You can win. And you can win. Yeah, that's true. Probably should do that, but I won't because that's cheating i guess i don't know i would just find it kind of feel weird doing that but otherwise i agree with all the terms and conditions of these giveaways and i improve this message by the castle cast that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> and by the way there's another i i feel there's another giveaway going on on is there our instagram right now so Ooh. under my hype picture people are mm-hmm. hashtagging mickey and castle cast and, and they're also tagging World Order Collectibles. And they're saying thank you for this. So I don't know what's going on. I feel like World Order Collectibles, who are awesome, by the way, um, are doing a small giveaway. So if you guys go to our Instagram, you look at our new hype photo, um, you might want to do the hashtags and all that kind of stuff there mm-hmm. also because yeah, you could win something. Is. That's cool. They're saying Mickey, and I'm wondering, is it the new Glitter Mickey, the Diamond uh, Edition gl- Mickey? So yeah. head over there. Uh, you could Diamond win something. Edition. All right. Yeah. So are we ready to draw someone from this Instagram post? Yes, we are, because here's the Mecha Godzilla. By the way, this is a glow-in-the-dark nice. Mecha Godzilla. Um, nice. If you uh, would like to know, this has been out of the box already because we used it in our most recent video about this Funko Pop. So you're getting one that Heather and I put our little little hands on, okay? Oh, dear. And that's hot. That's hot. 
<laughs> so one of you guys out there will win this, guys or girls, and we're really uh, we're really excited to give this away, and we'll ship it out very soon. So, wow! Did you select? That's not, that how many, like a plan. How many uh, com or how many comments were there? Two hundred and sixty-eight comments. Wow! That is a plethora. If I ever heard one, my, oh my goodness God. gracious! Oh my God! Okay, it's hold a on. Plethora. That looks Anyone like. Anyone catch that reference in the chat? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that reference. Let's see. Is it? Are you? Is it selecting a winner? I don't know what it's doing. Oh my can god! I ask, can I ask a question as you're selecting? Of a course, winner? go ahead. Yes. Since you're giving away the Mecha Godzilla, I'm just curious. On a scale of one to ten, because this is how I review my movies out of respect, respectively. I did see a little indie film called Godzilla vs Kong, and I'm just curious. Scale one to ten, what do you give that film, Chris and Heather? If you have any thoughts. I give it a seven, and I mm-hmm. will tell you why. I really, really enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it on a level of big movie and theater Mm -hmm. um, because I did go to the theater to see it. I rented a theater. Congrats on that, by the way. Thank you. Had I been home, I don't know if I would have enjoyed it as much. I enjoyed it most because I was in a theater to watch it Um, because the story was crap. (laughs) <laughs> the, the just a lot of nonsense yeah. happening with the little ships going yeah. into the center of the earth, but, hollow earth, eh. right? The hollow Whatever. earth stuff, but the creatures and, and creature feature stuff and them battling each other that was so much fun. I would watch that all day long, I could watch that 24 7. But you know, j- just based on the story being crappy, I, I would I, I would have to give it, I'd have to give it a seven. Okay, lucky number seven. What about you, Miss Heather? Any thoughts on Godzilla versus Kong on a scale of one to ten? She loved it, by the way. She walked out of the theater saying, man, I really enjoyed that a lot more than I thought. I liked it because I liked uh, the winner of the... Oh, the winner of the fight. Fight, yes. The winner of the fight. Okay, yes, I didn't enough, expect that. I, I really enjoyed it. I would say, like, prob- probably with Chris, like a seven or eight. Okay. I really enjoyed it. Good numbers, good numbers. I'm actually one right below you guys. I would, I gave it a six out of ten because I watched it from the comfort of my <clears throat> bat cave uh, on HBO Max, and I liked it. But the human story just really brought it down. It was crappy. It was horrid. Didn't make a whole lot of sense. Plus, when you got Coach Eric Taylor in your cast, aka Kyle Chandler, don't give him give him more than five minutes, okay? Because when you have clear eyes, full hearts, and can't lose. You need to give him more credit than that, Kyle Chandler. We're looking at you, brother. Other than that, the <laughs> creature feature stuff and them battling and duking it out, those were some good fights, especially when Kong got scratched and bloodied. Oh, I'm like, yeah. dude, Kong, I'm, I want you to win this fight, son. Get up, boy. <laughs> and finally, he did and laid the smack down on Godzilla's candy ass. And I'm like, okay, good, good, good. I want more of this. I want more of this. Give it to me. Give it to me. And then, unfortunately, when it ended, I'm like, Huh. So King of Monsters win the spoilers. King of Monsters win this one and not my boy Kong. That's kind of sad. But at the same time, they worked together as a team. He had a giant axe, which was awesome. Yes, that was I'll awesome. I'll give you that. Yes. The giant axe was fantastic. Him sitting on the throne for two minutes there, Chris, in the underground. That was pretty cool. But that was pretty other cool. Other than that, good film. But for me, of the four films within this monster verse that Warner Brothers and uh, what is it called? Um, Legendary Pictures, I should say, has given us. My favorite is actually King of the Monsters. King of the Monsters. That's a that's a good movie. I enjoyed that favorite, also. It's my favorite of the four. And then right below that, I would put Kong Skull Island as my number two. Kong Skull Island is also good. I, I really like uh, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. But the thing that really shocked me before we announce our winner of this Mecha Godzilla we have one by the way. was uh, the fact that the little girl is standing like next to King Kong as he's oh, injured Gia, at the very Gia. end. Yeah. And she's crying and she's like, oh, he's hurt. And I'm wondering what they should have done in that moment was just have like a low level screaming of all the people that are dead in the rubble surrounding them. Like she's very upset for Kong, but like they literally just smashed buildings and killed all of these people. There's like no like idea that they, they smashed down in the buildings. Is it, is it that the buildings didn't have anybody in them? Like, I don't know what was going on there, but I, there had to have been bodies. Like there should have been like little arms and legs lying around her as she's, you know, crying about Kong. <laughs> Made it like super graphic. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. That would be an interesting scene with that little girl known as Gia. You know, this film, ca- uh, not the two creatures caused less damage than what we got in 2013's Man of Steel. That's amazing. To me. That's amazing. That is amazing. You're right. Man of Steel was incredible. Um, Heather, what do we have? We have an Instagram winner for the Mecha Godzilla Funko Pop. Their name is, I, I am not going to pronounce this properly, so I am so sorry. Their name is Vare Laja 11. 
Yeah, I have no idea. What is that name? V A R E L A J A. Varel? 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 Yeah. I have no idea. Mm. I congratulations, don't either, though. but congratulations to the yeah. winner. Congratulations to the person that we can't pronounce their name. You won Mega Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> That's their their last name is Varela. V A R E L A. Varela. Yeah. So their name is Varela. Ja. You're awesome. Yeah. So we'll we'll definitely uh, reach out to that person on Instagram uh, and and let them know that they won and collect all their data. And uh, we'll get this guy sent out right away. However, that's not the one most of you guys are caring about. Most mm-hmm. of you guys are caring about Dark Side, baby. Dark, Dark Side. Seed. Dark Seed. Um, but before we get into our giveaway for that, because we're coming up close to an hour, but I want to discuss and close out our hour right. I want to know what everybody's thoughts are on Pietro dropping. Now, we discussed in our video tonight about the Venom Black Light Funko Pop dropping, um, somebody finding it at HQ. In fact, somebody just messaged me, and they sent us the DPCI of the Eddie Brock. He Apparently, he comes with a t-shirt as well, which is great. Um, so we have a message uh, uh, showing that this thing is TBA, so the street date is TBA. My theory is, based on our new video, is that the Black Light Venom is going to be basically the new Pietro. They're gonna hold. They're gonna hold out. But I, I guess it's not really the, a great theory anymore because it is gonna drop in Target. I had a feeling that they were gonna switch it up and drop it at Funko Shop. But my question is, do we think Pietro is going to drop this week or not? Because Piet- Ryan, do you know anything about Pietro? I know of the character. I know it's caused a major stir on the interwebs about his Funko Pop or variant, Chase, Grail, whatever the heck is going on. But here's my other thing. I haven't seen one lick, one episode of WandaVision. But really? I know what Pietro is from, and I know why people are OCD about this character. Uh, but for me, I'm not on the WandaVision bandwagon. I haven't even seen Falcon and Winter Soldier yet. So I'm going to binge watch all of Falcon and Winter Soldier when that's done. But other than that, I'll leave the rest of the Pietro madness up to you fine people because you're the experts and i just work here i don't know anything <laughs> well uh, yeah so pietro Hold on. can i just say ryan that you should watch wandavision it is very good hmm. i really really enjoyed it and i would love to know what you think about it because you're hmm. like you're sort of hard to please when it comes to like uh yeah I'm a little uber critical of certain elements of MCU uh, craziness. So I I would be interested in knowing what you thought about that. So one day, if you're bored and you have nothing better to do, throw on an episode or three of WandaVision and watch it and let me know what you think. Because I I really would love to know. I'm sure all my colleagues at NerdCulture would love me to just binge watch both of these series respectively because they did do some reviews of WandaVision on our channel, plug, plug, plug. And they're about to do some stuff about Falcon and Winter Soldier, plug, plug, plug. So, yeah, I'm behind. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a failure. In the words of, uh, what's his name? Oliver Queen, I have failed this city. Sorry, different brand, different property, but whatever. <laughs> it's all the same. You know, we're all nerds here. You get the references. Yeah, so WandaVision is a really good show, and Falcon and mm-hmm. Winter Soldier, very good show. Highly uh, recommend both of them. But oh, yes. I think that Pietro, the Funko Pop Pietro, has basically become even more popular than both of those franchises at this point because this is a Funko Pop that released on Funko Shop, and it sold out in, like, minutes. Or Was it less than a minute, or was it a minute? I think it was right around a minute, maybe two, but I feel like it was less. It happened so fast. And then Funko comes back and they say, well, we're going to restock this Funko Pop. So push this button in order to find out when we're going to restock it. So we're, we're thinking they'll send us an email and say, hey, the Funko Pop is back up on Funko Shop. Go and buy it now. Or, or here's a link and go buy it now. Whatever. The, but Pietro has become this huge thing. And I think that Funko is starting to realize with uh, an item like that that is so sought after the best thing to do is to keep it at bay and then keep dropping other crap on the website to sell it out and then later down the line drop your pietro but they're going to need another pietro after this they need another one and i thought black light venom was going to be it until somebody just sent me the dpci for the target black light venom so what do you think 
you think it's going to drop and then we're going to get yet another item that's going to be like, hey, you know, where's blah, blah, blah. It, it's hard to say because Funko is really weird about releasing information. Like the Pietro was supposed to come out in March. They announced it, what, February? Yes. January, February? Yeah. They announced it saying it'll be out in March. They didn't drop it in March. They dropped part of it in April. I don't know what that was about. And then I don't know when they're dropping the rest of it. But then like the Black Light Hulk dropped and that was completely unexpected. Right. Yeah, so, that was really weird, too. Yeah, like, who knows what Funko's doing? I don't know. They they drive me crazy. It's all so bizarre. And I, I just, I hope that they made enough Pietros to give, you know, so everybody has their chance, which I think they did. I think they're going to overload us with Pietros. I think it's going to be one of those things that shows up on the website and sets for a while, maybe down the road at some point. Uh, but I don't know that for a fact. I just think they're going to make a whole lot of Pietro. So if you're one of those people who miss Pietro very much like me, do not go out and spend a ton of money on it. Wait for it. It will come. And then if it sells out the next go around, then maybe we have somewhat of a problem. But don't do that just yet. Hold off because you'll end up getting your hands on it. Jason Bolleros or Bolero says the next hype will be likely a Falcon and Winter Soldier. But I, I'm with you on that, dude. Uh, it very well possibly could be. Um, we definitely deserve more Falcon and Winter Soldier Funko Pops. They've only released three or four so far. I'm sure we're going to get a whole batch more because this show is awesome and we deserve more Funko Pops uh, from it. Absolutely deserve it. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Ryan, do you happen to own any of the Indiana Jones Funko Pops by any chance? Yeah, I have the 10-inch Indiana Jones Adventure one over here on my bo- my lovely-looking bookshelf that's full of Funko Pops. There you go. Excellent. Uh, that's there. Above him is Batman vs. the Joker, movie moment from 1989's Batman, one of the greatest films ever made. Uh, above that is the Cloud City duel between Luke and Vader during a little indie film called The Empire Strikes Back. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of that in the comments. Um <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want me to keep listing off my pops, I can. I mean, the ones that are on my shelf. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Go ahead. Tell us a couple more. Okay, because this, I mean, you guys like this stuff. So I have Boromir from Lord of the Rings. I have the Marvel Collector Core exclusive of Iron Man versus Cap from Captain America Civil War. That's an excellent two pack. The, the two pack, thank you. Excellent. Uh, Storm, Beast, Nightcrawler uh, from the X Men 20th anniversary line of Marvel Funko Pops, the X Men, the original film 20th anniversary. I got Gambit, who glows mm. in the dark from the animated series. Throwing his cards. What's up, uh, Raging Cage and Remy LeBeau? Uh, you got Cyclops. I got Rogue from the X Men 20th anniversary line, respectively. I got the Galaxy 2017 ex- exclusive, I think it's called, whatever it was, of Han Solo shooting his blaster when he's wearing a belt from one of the Stormtrooper outfits that he had. So I have that one. Mm. And then I got uh, Lord Raiden from the original uh, Mortal Kombat video game because the new movie's coming out on April 23rd. Oh my gosh. And then uh, to t- top that off, I have J- the late, great Jim Henson with Kermit. Oh, so you're um, a big Mortal Kombat fan. Uh, as someone who grew up, uh, I was born in the 80s, raised in the 90s, and watched a film known as Mortal Kombat uh, a lot during the year of our Lord, 1995. You bet your bottom dollar. I am excited for this new one so, known as Mortal Kombat. Remind me, because a good friend of ours dropped off a couple movie posters to us yesterday, and the more sure. he dropped me off an actual theater Mortal Kombat poster and oh a theater-sized Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, Godzilla vs. Kong is one that I want. The oh, Mortal yeah. Kombat one, I don't know if I'm ever going to hang it or do anything with it. Would you like that? Oh, my gosh. He's going to make me cry. <laughs> Um, you know what? Why not? I'll take it. Absolutely. It's Mortal it's, Kombat. I'm jacked up. I can't wait to see that movie on April 23rd. Uh, by the way, uh, Universe, what is it? Warner Brothers Executives. Uh, I wanted this film originally on April 16th, but you pushed it back another week and a half because you wanted more people to be exposed to Godzilla vs. Kong. I get it. It's about money, but I, we should have had it earlier. But it's all right. We'll be there April the 23rd. Just like you, me, and everyone else in this world who has access to HBO Max, we will be there opening week and we'll watch that movie, and we are going to critique it on our YouTube channel, simply known as Nerd Culture. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so excited for the movie. I, like you, I'm a Mortal Kombat fan from when I was a kid. Um, Big time. And, and I love the Mortal Kombat film that came out way long ago. Um, 95. Not a fan of it today. Like, I, I can't watch it today because I don't know. I think I, you know, it's like one of those outgrowing sort of a things for me. Fair um, enough. It, but this new movie looks amazing. The Goro scene looked really good. I like that there's going to be sort of an origin for Scorpion. So it just seems like a lot of cool things will be happening in this film, and I can't wait. 
Um, oh my goodness gracious. The cast looks great. One of the cast members was the Black Ranger in the 2017 reboot of Power Rangers. Ludi Lin mm. uh, is playing, uh, what's his name, uh, Liu Kang. So congrats to you, Ludi Lin. You got one of the biggest jobs in Hollywood of being the new Liu Kang. So That's awesome. get on it. Get on it, son. I can't wait to see your uh, uh, movie. It's going to be fantastical, I hope. So we actually got a message back from the winner, and they mm-hmm. live in Maryland also, which I think is really <gasps> cool. That's so awesome. Yeah. I, Small world. I thought that they did because our local box lunch follows them. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. You're the, that's awesome. Tacular in my book. Wait a minute. Box lunch follows them. Yeah. What? Box lunch follows them. Isn't that weird? That they're followed by box lunch? Yeah. That's it's interesting. Cool. Strange. Huh. I'm not <laughs> followed by box lunch. Damn it. What's happening? Um, okay. Wow. So we've talked uh, upwards of uh, of an hour. And I want to give away this dark side Funko Pop to close out this lovely live. Did you have fun, by the way, Ryan? Are you kidding me? Yes, I had so much fun that I would be more than happy to be on this stage and in this arena with you fine people because you're all awesome and you should never apologize for being awesome. So, yes, I would love to be back again. Thank you, dude. We, we love having you. It's always fun having you on here with us. Um, so we're going to be giving this guy away and Heather's going to collect a random comment from Ryan's video with that special hashtag that you guys left. I hate to tell you this, but I think you guys are at the end of the line. If you haven't already gone over and hashtagged, uh, it's nerd culture on the video that Christina Payne just linked into the chat there. Um, you might be a little late cause Heather is now scurrying over right now to collect a comment from that video. And again, if you win this and you live outside of the United States, we will cover the first $5 and you will have to cover cover the rest. And this happened because somebody won something on this channel about 2 years ago and they were they lived I think in Greece. And it cost me more money than the Funko Pop itself to ship it. It cost me like $25 for a $10 Funko Pop. No, it was unbelievable. No. Uh-uh, it wasn't $25. It was like 60 was it yes yeah it was ridiculous it was very ridiculous so now we had to put a cap on how much we're going to pay for shipping it's totally out there international Um, shipping it's a crazy mix of world they live in it really is uh yeah no fun Mm. wow so there were 33 hashtag it's nerd culture comments excellent that's so (sighs) fancy thank you guys it's amazing. I got an update from our uh, El Capitan, Caroline, at this point. This was grand. This was 16 minutes ago. 446 subscribers. My goodness gracious. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Wow. Love you guys. Excellent. Every single one of you who subscribed and are continuing to subscribe, we heart you. In the, I know some kids say it that way. But anyway, you catch my drift. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, ha- I have too many. I ha- I've had too much. To, I've had too much energy. That's my problem. I we love it though, down. Ryan. No. We need your energy. I, I, I know. Because I'm, I'm lacking energy. 15,000 volts of electricity. And everyone wonders, like, Ryan, do you drink coffee? No. Do you drink energy drinks? No. Are you just wired this way naturally? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'm from the future, you know? I don't know. Maybe I was sent back in time. I have mm. no idea. If anyone has the answer to that, leave a note in the comments because I'm curious to hear your thoughts. This is not Ryan Permison. This is Kyle Reese. Maybe. Um, Heather, what do you have? Okay, so apparently it just went up to 35 comments. So that's cool. You okay. guys better be subscribed because I will check. Do it. Do it now. I will Do take it. a look. Do it. Come on, I'm here. Sorry, that's another movie. <clears throat> Good old fashioned movies. I can quote movies all night long, guys. This is the weird thing about Ryan. I can quote movies like nobody's business. And I've been doing so since I was at the tender age of six. Mm. So there you go. There's another number for you. Mm. <laughs> Follow that with a nine. Six, six, yeah, six is good. And follow with a nine. That's Heather's favorite yeah. number. Okay. And then there's another one called nine. Six, nine. Go ahead. What do you got? <laughs> we have a winner. Okay. I am so sorry. I can another pronounce name. it. Okay. You can. Okay. It's Shring or Shring Allah Web. Shring Allah Web. You won this dark side. Congratulations. Shring Allah Web. Did Web. I say Reb or Reb? You said Reb. Congratulations, Shingerla Web. Celebrate the times. Come on. Anyway, that's, that's what we're going to be doing when Earth reopens. We're going to be playing that song on repeat because we're going to be celebrating until the sun go, sun uh, comes up. 
<laughs> yeah, it's going to happen. Trust me. I'm planning it. We're going to do karaoke one night, brother. It's going to uh, happen. You don't want Chris and karaoke. Well, maybe not Chris, but maybe Heather's angelic voice will help things. You I don't, don't know. want me in karaoke. No. No. Do you, think Max would, do you think Maximus would do it? you think Max would do it? Nah, he's too shy. He's a little shy. He's, he's yeah, he's very shy. Okay, it's... fair enough, fair enough. We still love you, Max. It's all good, man. He's a good, he's a good dude, even though he we... won't sing in front of many people. Oh, um, we are, yeah, we are going to do karaoke when Earth reopens. That's one of the things I'm planning on doing with my friends and family. And yes, you too, including Maximus, you're all wonderfully welcome. So we have a lot of lovely people here. We have 67 viewers. I, I'm just going to throw this little. Let's do a help here. Uh, the Funko Brothers, the Space Funko, Space Brothers with a Z, say they're 10 away from 450 subscribers. We have 67 people here. Let's go get them to their, uh, to their 450 guys. Help them out. Hook them up. Give them some uh, subs there. Um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and for uh, trying to win some things like this guy right here. And I see you there, uh, Stringer La Web. Um, make sure you send us your um, name and address to Instagram at Gasocast so we can send you your prize. Um, so congratulations to both the winners. Again, I'm just going to smash your face uh, into this yet again. Head over to Patreon.com. Uh, uh, Head over to patreon.com slash gasocast to find out all the ways that you can support this channel. Um, there's uh, uh, three different tiers that are there. One is $3, one is $5, and the top one is $10. And the $10 tier actually gets you involved in a giveaway that we do monthly uh, full of awesome items. In fact, this month, I haven't picked out much. But this right here, this is news to everybody. Mad Spray Can Mutant. Yeah, news to me. This will be one of the items that we'll be giving away. Um, and it's, it's a mad spree can mutant by mad, let's see, by oh, Martian toys. I think, I don't know much about it. I won it not too long ago, but I want to give this away to one of our lucky patrons. Um, so that'll be up on the giveaway and, uh, and we'll have some more items also to go along with that. If you guys haven't already done so go and watch the two videos that we dropped today. We dropped a skit that Heather and I are really proud of. And we also dropped a video about the new black light venom Funko pop. We Cannot wait to see that Funko Pop in person, but we ask a lot of questions of what is going on in the Funko world right now where this thing can drop at HQ randomly, end up in somebody's cart, and they can purchase it, walk out of the store, and none of us knew anything about it. What is going on? So go and watch that video. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it if you enjoy all of our other content. Look out for new videos every single day. That's right. Every single day. Because we have some really cool things to uh, share with you. In fact, the next video that we're going to do is going to be a whole lot of fun. So look out for that one. Unless something big in Funko News happens tomorrow. Because you know we have to jump on the Funko News. Um, going Ghost asks, is there any ghastly updates? No, I'm still working with the manufacturers right now. Um, Patreon is a great way to learn everything that you need to know about Gasly and the upcoming events with Gasly and upcoming, um, uh, uh, the, the, I guess, the newest news that you can get to include. Last time on Patreon, we shared the box designs and we shared the Gasly toy photos, the colorized toy photos that we have right now. So we're giving the most up-to-date information about Gasly there. So if you want to know about it, Head over to Patreon and find out how you can support the channel and learn more about Gasly before everybody else. Um, Ryan, thank you so much. I'm sorry I'm, I'm talking very quickly and, and rapidly. Thank you so much for being here with us, and I, I definitely want to have you. We definitely want to have you back here again. Oh, absolutely, man. It was a lot of fun. And speaking of Funko-related news, I am looking forward to those Seinfeld pops coming out later this year because I'm a big Seinfeld fan, and Funko, it's about time. Yes, so, finally. So... So thank you so, so much because these pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> and I want those Funko Pops. Oh, so bad. And you know who you are out there. But other than that, this was fun, guys. Thanks for having me. You know, find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at It's Nerd Culture. Check out our YouTube channel. New videos are being posted each and every week. And you got my live show, And I Quote, which is live every Saturday at 12 p.m. EST on YouTube and Facebook. All that good stuff. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. And we hunt together. Yes. yes. Yes, that's right. He said it, guys. He said it. We are together, guys. Guys, have a great week. Have an awesome uh, next few days. Or what am I saying? Have an awesome week. Be good to each other out there. And um, hunt together. I, I, get, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yeah, hunt together. Hunt together. Guys, we'll catch you next time. Bye.